Tim and Angie here to talk about Jason David Frank. Frank has been around the discussion mill for a while, quite frankly around his actions, around morphing madness, cons, and the recent Power Ranger reboot movie. Now, this is my opinion, if you don't like it, that's fine. But, quite frankly, I'm really getting sick of JDF's behavior. So, morphing madness. For those who have been living under a rock, morphing madness was Saban and Bandai coming together to basically do a March Madness, you know, vote for Rangers, um, in brackets, and they'll move up, and you'll get a ranger key, you know, ranger key pack at the end to a lucky winner. That, that's basically what they were doing throughout the, the month of March. Now, you know, we were, it was all in good fun. Oh my god, why is Tizon still in the running? I fucking hate Tizon. Again, as I said, it was really all in good fun. A lot of people, you know, did campaigning. There was a couple instances of people, you know, uh, abusing the system, but whatever. You know, they were trying to get their favorite ranger keys out. And some, and some of the actors actually got on board to talking about, you know, talking about like, hey, vote for me, yada yada, that'd be cool. I'd like to see myself make it to the finals. And it was all good fun, except JDF kind of reared his ugly head in the things. Oh, hey, I got a data pad out of nowhere. So JDF was, got a heard of it and reacted in the way that he normally reacts which is basically like a bunch of energetic Jack Russell Terrier hamsters. And he was basically going, yeah, vote for me, LOL, awesome, I'm the original Green Ranger, vote for me, yeah, I'm Ray Mendez, woohoo! Okay, good, all in good fun. But then he saw what was happening in the rounds, which was he wasn't winning. And suddenly, he kind of broke. Attention, this has to be rigged. Apparently there are a few hater groups that are making sure we lose. No way these votes are real. From 80% to this, Dino 30%, Green 30%, White 31%. I have 4 million reaches and this has got to be rigged. Don't let a few hater groups running these votes. Come on team, you're all gonna have the social media drive. White Dino beat Green White. Must be a toy thing. And then again, got to love the haters. This is in your hands now. Vote, Creed Groups, or whatever you have to do. Well, well, log on, MorphyMadness.com. Okay, so you're losing. That happens. Tommy's not everyone's favorite ranger, and people were gunning for other ranger keys. That happens. Sorry, but, you know, because you're losing doesn't mean that it's hater groups or whatever. Just, just deal with the fact you're losing. Okay, whatever. Jason David Frank is a sore loser, and you could kind of go past it as, okay, act up all you want, but you might lose, and that's okay. Then he decided to bribe people. Please read and pass on. I need you to set your alarm clock daily to April 7th. Log on and vote for me. Apparently it's not a one-time vote. My fans don't know I need daily votes. This is all I ask of you. I have your back, you have mine, yes? Screenshot you a vote for my character and email all votes in one email for a free sign 8 by 10 Must include daily screenshots on April 8th and will win free PR signed photos Email me with all your screenshots to, in one email at jdffans at gmail.com Thanks team, you're number one Cast your daily votes at marthymadness.com and show the And show the team The team JDF power JDF Really? You're bribing people. Bribing people so you can win. That's pathetic. That really is pathetic, beyond belief. Then there was the fact that right after he complained, Morphine Madness gave us a notice that it reset. And they did reset everything, except for Tommy's votes. So all of a sudden, all those votes that, you know, may have not been illegal, but again, I don't care, were brought down, but Tommy's votes remained the same, allowing him to win that round. Well, because of his actions, there was an interesting, funny thing that happened in the final round of voting, and that was he lost terribly. I mean, nobody was voting for this guy. It was hilarious how the fact that the Phantom Ranger of all, peop of all Rangers won against him. 
the fucking Phantom Ranger. How many fans does he have? If you are a fan of the Phantom Ranger, that's cool. I'm not gonna hate you for it. I'm saying he's not a really big character. But, and you think that the JDF madness would stop there, but no. Oh no, there's more. As I mentioned earlier, Jason David Frank has not been on the best behavior at cons recently. There has been mixed reactions. A lot of people say, you know, he seems far off and distant from fans, not really engaging them. And a lot of people actually say, you know, it was a pretty good experience. Overall, he's been mixed. But then, then something happened. There was a fan at a con he attended in Salt Lake City that talked about his experiences meeting JDF and how overall how bad it was. Um, he did say that you know a lot of it kind of did felt like it was this, it was the handlers, but for the most part, you know, he paid a lot of money. He didn't really get a good meet and greet photo. They didn't, you know, and then when he when he waited in line, they ushered his daughter away. And then when he talked to him while he was in line, you know, JDF kind of. Um, just suddenly in the middle of him kind of talking just went, hey, you should check out my Facebook page. Who the fuck does that in the middle of somebody going, oh my god, you're my hero. No, seriously, that, that's kind of how it was. It was basically this awkward. Oh my god, it's, it's you. I'm like your biggest fan ever. You know, you were such an inspiration in my life and you, you know, you helped me through depression and yeah, cool, what man, you should check out my Facebook page. Yeah! So, you know, and the guy was actually pretty forgiving. You know, you know, you had a lot of people in line, you had a lot of handlers, whatever. So then he went back in line and JDF had a very few people and decided, hey, you know, maybe I can, I can talk to you. And then, you know, his daughter asked JDF questions and all that. And JDF seemed uninterested, bored, and quite frankly, kind of gave half-ass answers to things. Um, now, from the sound of it, these questions are kind of questions that probably come up constantly, but when you're kind of doing something like this, well, here's what it would do for the job. Here's what would happen if I reacted to common questions at my work and how it'd look. Hey, can you tell me the difference between a latte and a caramel macchiato? Difference between a macchiato and a latte are like the same thing, except like a latte is just the steamed milk and espresso and the caramel macchiato is the espresso on top and you just put like caramel espresso on it. God. Could you tell me the calorie count in a double chocolate chip frappuccino? I don't know. I mean, excuse me, I've been waiting for about 20 minutes for my drink. Are you gonna make it? Yeah, I'll get your drink in a moment. <laughs> Cats are funny. Hi, yes, I would like a tall, double, two, yeah, sure, I'll get your double tall dry cappuccino with uh, two pumps of whatever uh, syrup you're about to say, but check out my Facebook page. Yeah, that's not exactly what I would call very pleasing behavior. Now, here's the deal, a lot of people have defended him, but you can't do that at a convention because you are being paid there to be there, that is, basically a customer service experience you're 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 talking to fans you're signing autographs and all this other stuff that is something that you are doing to to someone else again it's customer service and a lot of customer service rules applies it doesn't matter if you don't want to be there or if you heard those questions a million times you still got to give it your all and you got to be pleasant you kind of have to learn how to hide these things now somebody on the forum actually went and shared this with JDF and said, you know, hey, what are you gonna do about it? JDF's response to this was uh, not great. Well, yes, I saw this happen. People moved along way too fast and I was really upset myself. I did say sorry, even took a free pick and I have here drawing, drawing at my house. You came back a few times to hang out. I had a huge line and fuel items was more than fair. All about the money that offends me after I say sorry take free pick to you in fact I tried man it's too bad you feel that way what's your PayPal money I'd rather just refund you so you can go on your way sorry again god bless first of all oh my god I lost two brain cells reading that second off that's wow you you, you know he did say I'm sorry and I'll refund your money but then he kind of just blamed the person now, not only that, he blamed the person that just gave him the matter. It wasn't the actual person who gave the complaint. It was just like, hey, somebody, somebody said this. What are you gonna do about it? You know, what are you gonna do about it? And JDF was like, ah, well, obviously it's that person's fault. It's not what you do. 
Again, you'd get fired if I said that. And as far as cutting in front of people, that's not expected. I am a hero to many. This is unheard of. Fans like this make me upset. It's not the money, man. I was sick and did what I could to make you happy. Took pick, but like you said, insisted to hanging around time and time again. The kind is about other people too, man. Ask around. In fact, I'm posting because I'm not worried about this nonsense. I'll be worried and happy to send you photo back and I'll pay you cash back simple. Way to start off a good Easter. Again, you're blaming the fucking person for the bad experience. You need to ease it over. You you don't do that. Why would you do that? That's That's awful. It gets worse from here. Again, this, he's saying this to a person that was, that this is not his experience. This is a person who just relayed this, this, this board post, you know, and, and everything. Shoot guys, another hater, of course I'll give his money back. This whole thing must have been some kind of Tommy hater. Never said cheat Saban caught the cheaters. I'm man of my word. I gave out so many free things. You, my friend, will never get my attention again. Best hit another page taken away from my true fans. Dude, I remember you. You overused this to come to a booth over and over again. Staff even said I gave you a ton of stuff. Now, goodbye. Again, he is addressing a person that did not have this experience like he was there. Like, you are the person that was there. And this is not you had this is not how you handle a customer service situation. How you are taught to handle this type of situation is to say, well, I'm sorry that you had this experience. I'm sorry that this person had this experience. Um give you know, uh give me their information and I'll try to set them right with you, right with them. And you know, offer that a personal apology, say I'll give you your money back, I'll give you, you know, maybe a, a phone call or something. So you can talk to me about your experience. I'm really sorry that you felt that, you know, I was not being uh, being attentive to you uh, for for that brief minute. And you know, make, you know, next meet and greets on me. You know, when you come by, uh, just just let my my staff know, and I will uh, make sure that you get a free meet and greet, and I'll refund your money. There's really a lot you could do in that situation to ease it over, but instead, JDF decided to uh, blame the person for the entire thing. Even when a customer is 100% in the wrong, you do not do that in customer service. I am not kidding. You really do not do that. You you basically try try your best to, to smooth things over the best you can so you can gain that person back as a shopper or as a fan or as anything. Oh no, JDF's behavior has not just been this. There has been the recent fan film. So, there has been announced a new reboot film from Lionsgate and Saban Pictures. Yay! Sort of an ambivalent one. I'm gonna say a lot of people are excited. There are a lot of old actors that are, you know, excited about it too. <sighs> that includes Jason David Frank. So, Jason David Frank is doing a campaign to make sure he's in a movie. I'm, I'm not kidding. He, he is doing that. Not only that, he actually said it was his idea. It was his idea for this movie, and this is, you know, him that is making it happen. I am not kidding. Oh, God, I'm gonna have to read his Facebook page again. So it's official. I gave Saban the idea, lol. Let's see who they offer back, haha. <laughs> Email lines gate, show the JDF love. Push the white or, gr or green. They might reboot with new people, who knows, lol, JDF. And he proceeds to post the information of how to contact the press. Now when you have press information, that's normally for people to say, hey, can I get some some press information for my website? I'm with, let's say, I am uh, Ashley Leckwell of Nerdophiles. And I'm doing a, a piece on this. I'd like you to, you know, give me, you know, some information so I can, you know, write and promote your film. Not, oh my god, I want Jason David Frank back as the Green Ranger. I really, really want that. That's not what you use that information for. Not only that, he kind of continues. Here you are, team. Lionsgate numbers and emails. Ha ha ha. What's Power Ranger with some OG cast members? And where is my green series? Ha ha ha. I pushed for this, but a freebie with new people? LOL. Oh well, I'll still promote my brand. Sucks to see someone else in my spandex. Ha ha ha. Saban and Lionsgate band together. It's official. There goes the self-made fan movie MMPR fan film, JDF. 
not only does he want the Green Ranger series, but he is, again, insisting that you should talk to people to make sure he's in the movie. But not only that, he insists that that is him. That's my spandex. I'm not kidding. He said my spandex. What? You're not the only Green Ranger in, in the series. Power Rangers is 20-something is years old with like 21 seasons. You're not the only Green Ranger. You might have been the original Green Ranger, but now you're not the only one. Not to mention, if we count Sentai, you're not the original Green Ranger. Really? You, you're acting as if you're the only person to don the green colors. Like, it is your spandex. You're the original G Green Ranger. And I get that you're really attached to your role as Tommy Oliver, but you are too old to play a teenager. I hope you realize this. Not only that, this series is so freaking old that, that most young fans that are into this were actually born either during or after Mighty Morphin premiered. That is how old this franchise is. T Tommy was not everyone's first original ranger or first ranger that they loved anymore. That's a lot with the older fan and the older fans, but not so much with the younger fans anymore. You don't know who you are and you're acting like you're the biggest deal on the planet. You're, you're acting so egotistical that Shatner would basically go, whoa, dude, slow down. I think you need to be grounded. That is how big of an ego this man is, and that is how how annoying and how why there's so much backlash against him right now is because we're getting a little bit fed up about this. And you know, if he continues to push this, he's gonna lose his fan base. That's the saddest thing about it is, you know, people aren't gonna put up with this shit for so long. I, I really don't know what to say except for the fact that this man is like 40 years old and his only like thing he is clinging on to dear life is acting is acting as a teenager and basically being in Power Rangers. I, and you know, I, I'll be honest, I know teenagers that are, are that are, have more maturity than him. But that's the thing with you. Teenagers are more mature than him. Freaking teenagers. And I really, it's so annoying and it's, it's great on everybody. And honestly, that's my opinion on things. Like what, uh, like what I said, don't like what I said, discuss it in the comments or talk to me on Twitter or on um, or, uh, give me an email, and I'd love to hear from you. Again, I'm Timma, and you may not like my opinion, but whatever. See you guys next time.